Welcome to Creative Digital Designs. Today I'm going to be going over Canva hacks, Canva tips for beginners, and specifically going to be going over how to use the Magic Studio features to be able to enhance your images, your engine, your images. I'm sorry, and your designs. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so I have a blank. Uh, page here and so you can use this magic studio for any design that you're going to be creating um, so what you're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and over here to elements and we're going to find a photo we're going to find a we're going to find a photo of a person So one of the most simplest features of the Magic Studio is removing the background. So if you upload an uh, image or if you're using an image on uh, Canva, you can go ahead and hit background remover to go ahead and remove that quickly. And then we can go ahead and undo that. And we're going to hit edit. And right here, this is the Magic Studio. So part of the Magic Studio is background remover. The next thing we have is background generator. So what you could do here is you can give it a description of what you want and it will create a new background. So let's see. We're gonna put floral arrangement. Hit generate and see what it comes up with. And of course, the more details you give it, the better your results are gonna be. So this is what they gave me, and you can select through the ones that they gave you, and you can pick the one that you like best. Um, out of what they gave me, I like this one the best, and we could go ahead and use this in our design. If you wanted to, whatever you're looking for. Um, yeah, so that is how you can go ahead and change the background. The next feature we're going to go over is Magic Erase. So if there's different elements of the picture that you don't like, you can go ahead and hit Magic Erase. And they actually have it a little bit easier where you can click certain aspects of it instead. If, As you can see, it's highlight different features. So if instead we wanted to remove her and we just wanted to keep the background we can go ahead and select her and hit erase so now that we have we have this you can go ahead and then it's without her or we can go ahead and let's try a different Let's try a different, we're gonna go ahead and hit fall. Or this office. So let's say that you were using this picture for one of your designs, but you don't like everything that is in this design and you wanted to just, let's say that you wanna remove the glasses. We're gonna go ahead and hit edit. You can either do a mag magic erase and select it and remove it from them, or we can go back over here and we can go to magic grab. And this is pretty cool because you can grab different elements outside of the image and you can use them separately if you would like. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the glasses. And now you can be able to uh, remove it now sometimes it does give leave a little bit left on this so what I would do of the picture or the image so what I would go and do is back to edit magic erase
you're either going to put another amulet element there or you're going to just go ahead and go over it with the magic erase and see if you can take some of that brown off from removing so you see it got a little bit better so you can just do it again and as you can see it's now been removed from bringing up that glasses and so that's how you can do that you maybe can move it over here if you want it or you can put it on this book instead make it smaller or you can remove it off the design altogether so that is how you go ahead and use that feature and we have grab text so this um, I love this because it's great to be able to grab text if you need to create a flyer based off of information on a, in a picture. Um, I love to be able to grab the text. So let me go here to let's go somewhere where I'm going to need to grab text. Okay, for example, this flyer right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit, hit grab text, and you can select one text or all text, and then you're going to hit grab. Uh, we're going to group this together. Because sometimes, just depending on what you do, like for me, example, if I need to, if I've created a flyer or I need to create a social media caption for the flyer for someone, I'll usually do this to get the information off the flyer so that I can go to uh, to ChatGPT to be able to help, to be able to give me a better description. And this helps me to be able to get the text without having to type it out one by one if I need to get text off the image. Um, yeah, so this is now you can ungroup it and let's say that you wanted to use this text to create a new flyer Now you have all of the text that you need and you can just go ahead and change the font that you want change the size change the color and go ahead and Probably add a new page and start your design and then have these and then copy them and paste them onto your design So that is how you can use that feature go back over here so we have grab text we have magic edit so this is where you can brush or click a certain area and you can edit things within this so right here we are going to select the background and we can say make this background it's kind of similar to the to the, um, to the magic edit I mean to the the background so make this background with lemons generate it says editing faces hands or legs isn't intended for magic edit so that's important to note um, as you can see this gave me like a yellow background which is cool because it goes it still goes along with the theme so nothing is going to be perfect with these um, because AI is still new of course especially with uh, Canva but I do think that this is a nice yellow for this particular background and it matches the candle so you're just going to hit done and you would go ahead and use that in your design however you want it so we're going to go ahead and take all of this out and we're going to go back over here so the last one is the magic expand so this allows you to basically change or the sizing of the uh, image quickly so we're going to this will expand it out And it's going to expand it out all the way to, to fill up this entire page. Okay, so it generated a whole new image with this particular thing on it. And it goes along with it. So this will be a way to feature this candle in a different way. 
of course a lot of these AI images are not perfect um, but you can figure out what works for you and then they have the opposite which is to crop freeform or one by one 16 by 9 uh, which is more like a YouTube 9 by 16 is like a real or TikTok we have these other ones and yes so this is how you use the magic studio um, if you're a beginner um, hopefully this was helpful for being able to utilize uh, canva and please comment like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let me know below what type of videos you want me to create next and have a great day bye bye